Okay, so today we're going to learn about balancing equations. Every GCSE student's favourite exam question. If we start off with something simple, if we take a diatomic molecule of hydrogen, we add it to a diatomic molecule of oxygen. The arrow just means change to, obviously, never an equals. Some H2O, which we all know is water. So in our universe, nothing can be created, nothing can be destroyed. It only gets changed into something else. So we can see that the equation is not balanced. I've got two molecules of oxygen bonded together covalently here. And then I've, it looks to be like I've only got one atom of oxygen on the right-hand side here. So therefore, we have to balance the equation. Um, how I used to do it when I was small is I used to draw it out. So I've got a little diatomic molecule of hydrogen here. I've got some oxygen here. Yeah, oxygen. And then we've got some water, which looks like Mickey Mouse. OK, so the first thing we have to do is work out what we've got on the left-hand side, what we've got on the right-hand side. So I've got hydrogen and I've got oxygen in my equation. The L means left and the R means right. So, let's put it in a table. On the left-hand side, I've got one, two, hydrogen. On the right-hand side, I've got one, two. Okay, so it's fine for hydrogen, it's balanced. For oxygen, I've got one, two, here. Oh, but on this side, I've just got one. So I know the equation's unbalanced. Uh, so therefore, what I need to do is start multiplying up these atoms. Um, so the first thing I know, I need two oxygens on this side. I can't alter the formula, so all I can do is put a nice big fat two in front of it, which now gives me two moles of water. So essentially, I've got another one of these up here. Oxygen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Um, so now I need to change my table. Um, so I do, for my hydrogen, I do two times two, which is obviously four. And then I've got two oxygen, one, two. Okay, cross that out, put a two there. So now my oxygen's sorted. I've got two here, I've got two here, so that's fine. Um, what I've messed up now is my hydrogen. So now I have to go back to the beginning and think about what number I need to put in front of the hydrogen molecule in order to get four on the left-hand side. So I can easily work out. I obviously just put a two in front. Two times two gives us four. So now I've got another mole of hydrogen here. One, two, three, four atoms there. And that's it. 